Hello Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. This particular reading is going to be focusing on the summer season. So officially here in the Northern Hemisphere, depending of course where you are in the world, the Northern Hemisphere summer season is from June 21st through September 23rd. So this particular reading is going to be focusing on summer predictions, what may be coming in for you this summer. All right, Scorpio, general as always, guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please do take from this whatever makes sense for your particular situation. You don't have to resonate with each and every card that comes through. If there are bits and parts of it that are meant for you, then you'll know that as the reading continues. If you are interested in a personal private reading from me, Scorpio, all of that information is down below this video, as well as a list of all of the card decks that I typically use for my readings. All right, Scorpio, so let's get started. Once again, I am wanting to chime into my Moonology card deck. I believe this was the very same focus card deck that I used for the first half of July, and I really was able to tune into these messages. So let's see, based off of the Moonology card deck, what is going to come in for you as a focus card for the summer season of 2019 Scorpio. So whether you are single, whether you are separated from somebody that you have in mind for this reading, or if you're already attached and having issues in your connection, whatever the case may be, let's see what comes forward for the summer season of 2019 for you, Scorpio. All right, so angels and spirit guides, Please bring forward a focus message for Scorpio for this reading, please. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries, guys. So if you are thinking about an Aries for this particular reading, definitely tapping into this person's energy. And it's telling you it's time to take action. So if you have been procrastinating if you have been a little bit stagnant in making decisions for yourself or finally taking that first step to get something moving in your life, take that for however way it makes sense for your situation. But the energies from this Moonology card is telling you it's time. You know, take that first step necessary in whatever situation has been concerning for you or weighing heavily on you and it's time to take action. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I really want to start this time around with the, the Romance Angels card deck to see what's coming in for you this summer, especially in regard to love and romance. So again, you don't have to resonate with each and every card. Take it for however way it makes sense for your particular situation, Scorpio. And let's see what's coming up for you the remainder of July and August and through September 23rd, which is the last day of the summer season for this year. So what's coming in for you guys in the upcoming weeks? Angels and spirit guides for my Scorpios for the summer season. Some of you guys may be dealing with codependency in your relationship. You know, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So Scorpio, if this may be potentially tapping into your energies or the person that you're thinking about for this reading, somebody has to get a hold of the addictions that are affecting the dynamic of this relationship. So whether they may have a drinking problem or abusing drugs or some other form of codependency that needs to be addressed and perhaps that is tapping into this focus card of it is time to take action. If, the, if it's the person that you're thinking about for this reading, Scorpio, perhaps it's time to go get some professional help, whether that is through a rehab facility or um, a medical facility, whatever case, you know, needs to be addressed there. Okay, it's time to take action. Perhaps this problem has been swept under the rug for quite too long. And it's time to face it now during the summer months. Okay. What else? What else do we need to know for Scorpio, please, for this summer season? 
please bring it forward for Scorpio. All right, some of you guys need to give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Perhaps some of you were not sure whether you had it in you to just keep working on whatever challenges and barriers that you might be dealing with at this time in relation to a connection between you and the person that you're thinking about for this reading. Angels are coming through that it's worth working on this partnership. Again, it's time to take action. What is it that you need to do in order to start manifesting the necessary changes in this connection? Of course, I do feel that one person can't want it more than the other. You know, as I've often said in my readings, there has to be an equal exchange of energy between the person you're thinking about, Scorpio, as well as yourself. You know, you both have to be all in. It can't just be somebody who's somewhat interested and somebody else who's super interested. It has to be an equal exchange of energy and equal desire to want to work on this partnership and relationship. And that's ultimately what's going to allow you guys to tackle your challenges and move on to the next phase of your relationship. Now, if part of the issues that are plaguing your relationship, Scorpio, is this codependency, all the more reason that that needs to be addressed. But with this give your relationship chance card coming right next to that, this is telling us that there may be a potential to save this relationship and to salvage it if the person who is dealing with that codependent energy and addictions addresses the problem. It has to be addressed, okay? What else, please, for Scorpio? For the summer months, please, angels and spirit guides. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So the person that you're thinking about, Scorpio, for this reading may be very flirtatious either with you or just very flirtatious and lighthearted in nature. What I'm picking up here is that you have a lot of fun with this individual. And if you guys are having challenges during these summer months or currently where you're at, you know, this is a reminder to lighten things up a little bit, extend your lighthearted nature towards this person. Because sometimes when we're dealing with our challenges and we're just kind of in each other's face about everything and there's definitely tension there, we forget to look at the the more lighter side of our relationship, the lighter part of our connection with that person. So if you can find it within you and for this person to find it within themselves to bring back the, uh, the fun in the connection, perhaps you guys can look at the challenges and be able to tackle it better from that standpoint rather than uh, coming at each other with very tense energies, you know, arguments and such. All right, what else, please, angels? Okay, we do have the trust card coming through as well. And I'm liking this bottom card here. We've got playfulness, which to me is tapping into that flirt card. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Because ultimately, Scorpio, I do feel that the person you're thinking about for this reading, when you guys first met, when you guys first connected, you had a lot of fun with this individual. You guys didn't even have to go anywhere. You just enjoyed each other's company. That's what I feel from that. Perhaps the trust has been broken in the connection for whatever reason. If some of you guys are dealing with a third party, that could be a potential why trust was broken here. But the angels are coming through with the energies here that the situation is calling for you to have faith and that the relationship is worth working on. Okay, those challenges can be overcome if the work is put in to actually address those issues. And again, for some of you, we do have codependency here. So this focus card is so fitting that it is time to take action, Scorpio, whether that is on your part or the person that you're thinking about. Somebody has to take that first step to get things moving in the right direction. Okay, so let's add to this guys with some psychic tarot messages. Let's see what we can grab for the summer months, the summer season. 
angels and spirit guides for Scorpio. What else is coming in for Scorpio for the summer season 2019? In love, romance, in life, finances, career, whatever. Let's see what else is coming in for you for the duration of this summer season. Got a couple here. Okay, transformation. With that transformation card coming through here, guys, that is tapping into your very own energies. This is the death card in traditional tarot, tapping into Scorpio energy. So you are definitely going through a transformation this summer season, Scorpio. For some of you guys, it may very well be you that is dealing with this codependent energy. You know, especially if addictions are affecting your romantic life, if perhaps you may have a drinking problem or some other codependent behavior that needs to be addressed. And with this transformation card coming through here, that's actually a good thing because that is coming forward, addressing the problem that you are desiring these changes that need to come in. It's tapping into endings and new beginnings, you know, so close this chapter of your life if that is something that you're dealing with and welcome in the new beginning that this death card is wanting to give you. You know, it's wanting you to have the courage to face your fears, to, to face your challenges and barriers that are keeping you from fulfilling things in your life. All the more reason, once again, this is such a perfect focus card to come through for you, Scorpio, for the summer season. It's time to take action. You got to accept the changes that are necessary in order for you to move on. For those of you who have had a relationship that has come to an end, with the death card being represented here, that simply means that even though the relationship has ended, you still have love for this person. And if you guys are in separation at this time, the angels are still coming through that there may still be a potential for you to give the relationship a second chance and to work on the partnership. So I'm feeling, regardless of the separation and distance that some of you may have from a particular person you're thinking about, there may still be a potential to recapture what you once had with this person, but you do have some work to do on yourself. And or if this is not your energy, then it's the person that you're thinking about for this reading. They've got some work to do on themselves, you know, and I'm loving this next card right here. We've got the balance card right next to that. And that is tapping into the justice card in traditional tarot, tapping into Libra energy. So for some of you guys, you might be thinking about a Libra for this reading. This is coming through with honesty and the truth. And if trust was broken in the connection, this is really asking you guys to address that issue and come forward with honesty and truth this time. Seeing both sides of a situation and that there is a need for balance and harmony here. Lifestyle adjustments, guys, it's needed. And that is part of that transformation that the death card is bringing forward. So we've got two major um, arcanas right next to each other. For those of you guys dealing with some legal entanglements during the summer season, you will come out on top. Justice will triumph in regard to any settlements that some of you guys may be dealing with. But in order to move forward, you have to make a solid decision for yourself, Scorpio, that that is what you want to do. You have to focus on what it is that you want by way of your goals. In order for you to reach your goals, you need to take action. I can't refer to this focus card enough because it's so fitting for this reading. Those of you having health issues, that is being addressed by the balance card as well. I do ultimately feel that your problems in all areas will be resolved, but you do need to take action. It's not going to resolve itself. You have to help it along. 
you got to take responsibility for your own actions. And if part of the responsibility that you need to take is to grab hold of your addictions, if that is something that you're dealing with, then that certainly needs to be addressed. And I'm feeling that you will, you know, especially with that transformation card right next to it. That death card is so appropriate because it is tapping into your very own energy, Scorpio. What else, please? For Scorpio, for the summer season, angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. What else do we need to know here? Okay. Stand your ground. That is the seven of wands. That is coming forward with competition and perseverance. So for some of you, whenever I feel that energy of competition, I feel that somebody else might be vying for the attention of someone that you might be interested in romantically, or just feeling perhaps that you're just not getting the the attention that you're wanting from from a particular person that could that doesn't have to be romantic in nature it could be a family member it could be a parent somebody that you feel that you are in competition with so it could be a sibling a relative whatever the case may be you could also be dealing with friendships where perhaps you feel that other friends are taking away from time with a particular person you want to spend time with. It really depends on why this level of competition is coming forward in your world, in your life. But this is telling you to stand your ground and to voice your concerns, voice what is in your heart. Stand up for what you believe in. And if what you believe in is a particular relationship and you guys are in separation, you have what it takes to be able to manifest union with that person once again. Once you go through this transformation that is very necessary, especially those of you, again, who are dealing with codependent behavior, either on your part, Scorpio, or somebody that you're thinking about for this reading. Let's grab another one. What else, please, for Scorpio, angels and spirit guides for the summer season, 2019. What else needs to come through here? What else needs to come through? All right, well, we've got solitude. This is the Hermit card in traditional tarot, but it did come up reversed. So that is how I'm going to read it. Okay, so with the Hermit card coming up reversed, it is tapping into loneliness, isolation, somebody who has lost their way. If that is how you're feeling, Scorpio, you have absolutely what it takes to reverse that and put it in the upright. You know, if you have been feeling lonely as a result of the separation from a particular loved one that you have in mind, part of this transformation is going to allow you to welcome in new beginnings. And some of those new beginnings may certainly be a reconnection with the person that you're in separation from so that you guys can work through your challenges and issues. But as I had mentioned, that there does need to be balance in the connection. Both people need to have equal energy and desire to be able to manifest that. But the potential, you know, it's certainly here. So I'm feeling temporary energy from that. And ultimately, you can restore trust in the connection once again. And look at this bottom card, guys. Beautiful. A spiritual union, a spiritual connection with the person that you're thinking about for this reading, that is the Two of Cups. Partnership, attraction, an intense love and magnetic attraction between two people who have such intense love for each other. So despite what you're going through with this person, Scorpio, there is a chance that you guys can work itself out. And look at the pictures from both of these cards, very similar energies. You know, two people facing each other, a lot of love there. So don't give up on your situation, but definitely it's time to take action, some sort of action that will initially get things moving in this connection. All right, guys. So I want to grab some signs from Spirit Love Oracle to add to this. Angels and Spirit Guides for Scorpio for the summer season, 2019. 
What else can you bring forward, please, for Scorpio? All right. Let's see what else, guys, is coming forward here. What else do we need to know for the summer season? For Scorpio, please. Whoops. What do we have? Orange. Enthusiasm. Excitement. Warmth. Isn't that perfect for the summer season? I mean, it's exuding summertime here for me. The sun is out, you know, bringing forward a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and warmth. The warmth of the sun, that type of energy during summertime. For me, it gives us a sense of hope that if there were situations that you've been dealing with, Scorpio, that were in the dark or currently are, especially those who are in this transformation mode and dealing with codependency, the sun will illuminate what is in the dark and bring you out of that energy. So the potential for a really great summer is here. Enthusiasm and excitement are coming forward. So I'm really loving that. And I'm loving this bottom card as well. You've got the rainbow renewal. So for me, renewal brings forward reconciliations, the opportunity to start over, especially those of you who are in separation in a relationship. There is a chance to work things out sometime during the summer season. Okay, so let's add to this, guys. Let's see, what deck am I going to use here? Let's add to this with some Mystic Moon Oracles, and let's see what else is coming through. Angels and Spirit Guides. For Scorpio, what else do we need to be made aware of for the summer season? What else? What else needs to come through here for Scorpio? Summer 2019. Oh my gosh. Commitment. So some of you guys may actually be able to finally have the commitment from the person that you are in separation from. Again, guys, regardless of whatever issues are going through here, whatever hardships or challenges you might be enduring in regard to a love connection especially angels are coming forward that it's worth working on the partnership and some of you guys may very well be surprised by an offer of a proposal possibly that's a great card and look at this bottom card here we do have vibrations so once again those in separation you may still be feeling this person's energies their vibrations you might be still feeling their presence in your life your surroundings and it's ultimately because you guys are still spiritually connected you know and i feel you always will be and perhaps you see this person as your soulmate for some of you you might resonate more with a twin flame connection but the possibility guys of having a commitment with this person during the summer months for some of you is here so keep a lookout for that the the changes that are needed in that connection may finally be coming forward towards fruition here. If there was no action before, the potential for things to finally get moving is here. And perhaps that's why this focus card was what came through. It's time to take action. So perhaps you're both on the same page now and ready to take action towards each other, Scorpio. Okay, so let's add to this, guys, with some lovers oracle messages for the summer season. And then I'm gonna grab some cards from the Zodiac deck to see potential signs, especially for my singles who are unattached and looking for love this summer season. Let's see what potential connections you might be able to make this summer. All right, guys, let's see. Some messages from the Lover's Oracle deck to add to this summer predictions reading for you so angels and spirit guides for scorpio and let me grab this bottom card what do we have okay when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love with this particular card it reminds me of 
perhaps a loved one that you may have recently lost, Scorpio, okay? Even though they may, they may not be here in the physical realm, we certainly remember all of our loved ones who have passed. Even though they're no longer with us physically, they're always with us in their heart, in our hearts. And we still have love for them. So this is a reminder, especially for those who can resonate with this message in regard to a particular loved one who has passed on. You take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So remember them with fondness. All right, and the other message that came through is deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. You already know the answer, Scorpio, so do what feels right, and it's time. It is absolutely time to take action. So take advantage of the energies of this focus card and go for it. All right, so let's grab some Zodiac messages, especially for my singles, but of course, this may very well tap into the energies of somebody that you have in mind. Scorpio for this reading. If you are in separation from this person, or again, my singles who are unattached. Let's see what has the potential to come in for you this summer season. I love this card. This is tapping into the sun energy, you know, and with that sun card coming forward, that is tapping into fire energy. So some of you guys may actually be connecting with a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And success, joy, and happiness are represented by the sun card. It's the most positive card in tarot, guys. So I'm loving how that is being represented here. And certainly tapping into marriages and unions and mergers during the summer season. So something to keep in mind. Okay, let's grab some more for Scorpio. What else needs to come through? Angels and spirit guides, potential signs for Scorpio. We've got the moon energy coming through here. Okay, so with that moon energy, that is tapping into water energy. So Cancer, your own very energy Scorpio, as well as Pisces. So you may very well be, for some of my singles, connecting with a water sign potentially this summer. Now also with the moon energy, that could be tapping into intuition, your illusion. For some of you, you might be dealing with somebody who's coming forward with that deceptive energy sometime this summer. So that's something to keep a lookout for during the summer months because it's tapping into someone's fears, someone's dark energies. It could certainly be tapping into your dreams, your imagination, what it is you fantasize about Scorpio, what it is that you desire or who it is that you desire. So if you're dealing with somebody that is not quite coming forward with honest energy or being their true self, being their true authentic self, especially if this person has either broken your trust or this might be a new connection for some of you where you're not quite sure whether you can trust this person, you know, follow your intuition and follow your gut. And you'll be able to make the right decision for yourself. Let me grab one more. What else, please? Okay. Some of you guys might be connecting with a Pisces this summer season. And look at this bottom card. We've got Aries energy once again tapping into this focus card. Okay, that new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. So this summer month... The summer season, Scorpio, it is time to definitely get things moving in your life, not just in relation to love and romance. Could be finances, your career, other relationships that may be challenged or have been challenged. And this summer season will allow you to work on those challenges and barriers and whatever is challenging you at this time. You can work through all that and actually make it out on top. 
Ultimately, I feel that this summer has a lot of great things coming in for Scorpio. Some of you guys, again, may reconnect with somebody that you feel is your soulmate and or twin flame. We've got some pretty fantastic energies coming through here with this orange card indicating summer season, enthusiasm, excitement and warmth, as well as this rainbow energy of renewal. So a potential reconciliation for some of you. And once that reconciliation actually comes to the 3D, you may very well get the commitment that you've been wanting from this person, Scorpio. Okay, so that's just something to keep a lookout for, guys. All right, so let's close out your reading with, let's see, I want to grab from the Whispers of Love. Let me move these guys over some whispers of love messages for you. Angels and spirit guides. For Scorpio, representing the summer season of 2019. What else does Scorpio need to be made aware of during the summer season? What else may be coming in for Scorpio in the upcoming weeks? Okay, and let me grab this bottom card here. Focus on love, Scorpio. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. You're surrounded by people that love you, that care for you, and even those of you who are in separation from a particular someone. The potential to hear from this person and get back together is really good here for the upcoming weeks during the summer season. Angels are coming through that this codependency needs to be tackled, that Scorpio, you're actually undergoing a pretty intense transformation in the upcoming weeks getting rid of things that no longer serve you and welcoming in new beginnings. And part of those new beginnings may very well be with the one that you love and are thinking about and are missing at this time. Okay. And this other card that came through is like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Isn't that the truth? What we put out there is what we will attract. So if love has been lacking in your life, Scorpio... Just remember that message that if you are longing for more love to come in, you need to exude more love okay, from yourself, from your heart. If that's what you're putting out there, it's just a matter of time before you bring it in to your life. Okay, so let's end this, guys, with a final thought from my guardian angels. There we are. Let me grab this bottom card here. We have Jewel. Every event in life presents us with a new opportunity to experience ever greater love. There is a jewel to be found within every teardrop. Trust. We, your angels, are guiding the current events. This is a time in which you and those close to you will emerge strengthened by ever greater bonds of love. Trust. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. Wow. Look at all the references, guys, to that word. Trust. So if trust has been challenging for you in past relationships, this is coming through to let you know that there's absolutely nothing to fear as long as you see things from a place of love and trust that this universe will put you where you're meant to be. Okay? And finally, we have expression. Express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear or judgment. Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression is liberating and healing. It absolutely is. For those of you guys dealing with codependency, I know that you have it within you to tackle that. For those of you who are really having a difficult time with addictions, Part of this transformation that's coming in for you, Scorpio, is allowing you the ability to overcome that. And if it is somebody that you are dealing with, thinking about for this reading, that is tapping into that energy, they as well have it within them to be able to tackle that. You can't do it for them. 
they have to be able to transform their own life. So it's time for them to take action as well. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio, for the upcoming weeks here during the summer season of 2019. I hope that this reading helps you, especially as the weeks unfold. Lots of really nice things coming in for you, and there's some work that needs to be done here. And clearly, it is time to take action. So take heed of the advice from this card especially, and if you've been procrastinating or if things have been stagnant in your life, you have the potential to really go after so much this summer. So go for it, Scorpio. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to leave this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you're interested in a personal private reading, Scorpio, that information is down below this video. And I'll be back soon, guys, with more readings. Take care. Bye-bye.